landscaping is key is really key that is what welcomes people in your home when you open that gate that's when they will see first hi beautiful people welcome to my channel my name is kristin thank you so much for tuning in today so in today's video we are talking about some inexpensive ways to make your home look expensive who doesn't want their home to look nice expensive and luxurious so if you are up to that guys tune in and i hope this will help you i hope this will help you tackle your home make it look a little bit expensive with cheap 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 things not cheap things though but inexpensive ways to make your home look expensive i have five points i hope that will really elevate your home so the first tip is to update your hardware let me give you a simple example if you have a very dated kitchen that doesn't look expensive it looks cheap one thing you can do rather than ripping off the ca the cabinets and replacing them with new uh, modern expensive cabinets then you can update your hardware you can splurge on your hardware go get a little expensive hardware to elevate your whole kitchen it's inexpensive because rather than you updating your whole kitchen you're just tweaking getting better hardware like the cabinet knobs or the cabinet handles when you get the ones that look expensive they don't have to necessarily be expensive but if they look expensive then they will look expensive and your kitchen will look expensive so you can go and change that the other point is add or add and update your light fixtures i think i've shown you before that how my light fixtures look i'll keep putting them up here how they look now and when i update my living room fixture this room will look more expensive than it looks right now the same case with my daughter's and my son's room they share a room and i also change their light fixture to something that is not even kiddish and it looks more expensive that way than like the bulb holder that has been there for years collecting dust looking old that doesn't give that room an expensive feel look at the details how how does your lighting feel when you enter is it elevating the room or is it making it look like still like in a like in a kitchen not in a kitchen like in um oh my god i can't i can't get the word hospital like the hospital task lighting white light how do you feel when it's warm it's inviting it feels more expensive and the room will be really elevated that way so when we talk about adding light you can add recess lighting if you're doing a renovation of your home then add recess lighting it is adding more light to your home which would really elevate the, the place you can add library lights to like elevate a uh, wall art and make it like to pinpoint the wall art and make it more expensive look expensive when you have those lights on top of your art they will really, they will really elevate the room so don't forget to, to add those touches and these days those lights come with battery so you just put them on the wall just and then put um uh art below it and just use batteries right there and you think that it is you need someone may think that it was meant to be there no your home will look so luxurious i promise you the other way to add lighting in your home that will really make it expensive is add accent lighting accent your lighting don't have one chandelier on the room when you have like floor lamps table lamps that is accent lighting and it will elevate the place so sometimes in the evening you can switch off the top light and just have a moody light with your accent lighting that will really elevate your home it, it will make it look expensive so start tweaking small small things here and there and you will really feel it you will know and you will feel it 
the third tip is for the people who have like a compound or they they have their own homes or they rent a place that has a compound is refresh your landscape if you don't have landscape is dust or cocoto try and get a of course, I know you want a place where your car, when it passes, when it's raining, there is no like grilling on the ground. Then you can leave that space for your car to pass. Like that car pavement is fine. But on all the other places, make it beautiful. Get green grass. If you if you know you will not be able to like uh, take care of the grass, then there's the artificial grass that can be put all over, all over the place. Just make your landscape look beautiful that your neighbors will, will say when your gate is open they are like oh my god that place looks expensive put flowers add plants for me i would say adding more plants is better than adding so many flowering flowering plants because when you have just green different types of green dark light greens it will really elevate that that place and also when you plant like um some big plants or like a tree in the middle of the grass then you just you can put like the white pebbles alongside the the bed of the plant it will really elevate uh, the place go on pinterest check beautiful landscapes and try do that or just get a company that does good landscaping and also do that you can check on instagram just post just type landscaping and i know there is a company in kenya that will pop i hope that will elevate your space so landscaping is key is really key that is what welcomes people in your home when you open that gate that's what they will see first they will if, if, if there's a lot of dust um animals have eaten all the grass it looks really bad or your grass have, has overgrown it's not it's not been cut it will not look good so begin with the outside as you move inside make it beautiful make it beautiful fourth tip is update the curb appeal of your home if your house outside has not been painted for so many years and the paint has faded or the rain has rained the paint is chipping please update the painting if the exterior stones are very dirty then use a horse pipe to clean them that will also elevate it and make it more expensive or if you if you're done with the stone look then you can paint them you can just paint all of them black or white they will still look good the same way as your fence if your fence is unkept then your home will really look not expensive when you look at those homes the fence is beautiful it has been cut if it's the the fence the live fence that should be cut if it's cut beautifully then it will look more expensive and it's those are small small inexpensive ways of making your home look really expensive so look at your exterior does it reciprocate what is inside should I even use that one i don't know what that is look at your exterior does it reciprocate what you're trying to do inside because when someone is coming from outside and it's it doesn't look good i don't think they really expect much inside that is me but if your outside is very nice your fence is cut beautifully if it's stone it's been kept well it's not quite dirty you've maybe done like a, a you've planted like a casino fence or you've planted like nice tall trees beside your stone fence it will really look good and get someone who can just do that um, work for you water your plants and make them look beautiful and that is a way that you can make your home expensive in a in very inexpensive ways the sixth point is avoid clutter let's say no clutter just avoid clutter in your home I've talked about this before clutter can be anything if something is not where it's supposed to be then it's clutter where it is if you have 
pile of clothes in a living room that you need to fold and they have been there for a week that is clutter it has created clutter it that your home it doesn't look expensive like that but when your clothes are folded or hung in the closet they look expensive they look better your house looks better clutter can be a bunch of mi mix and matched furniture it will look so cluttered or it can be so many furnitures in one place that that is also clutter or so many cups and spoon in one in, in everywhere you have them in in kitchen cupboards you have them in your living room cupboards that are open and there are so many piled over each other that is clutter scale down if you've not used something for six months please scale down scale down your clutter and your home will really be elevated and it will look very expensive with no money just the clutter sell what you can sell give out what you can sell what can can't be salvaged just trash it i hope that will really help you the other thing is make statements with your decoration make a statement go big or go home i will keep saying this go big or go home if you're doing a gallery wall you have a huge wall then please buy massive um what are they called picture frames or artwork for that wall don't go for a fours actually I don't have any issue with a fours but if there are some if you put many many that will be like one artwork like that will feel like one at one but if you have two a4s or three a4s in a very big wall that are just like hanging for their lives they're, they're like they're, they're like hanging like this on a railing that the landlord that the landlord has put there for you don't do that get massive at work get very big ones you can wait save money for them because they're not cheap just wait save money for them get a massive one and you will never regret it if you don't like the print you can remove it if, if it's a uh, like um, a picture frame if it's a canvas you can get an artist to do another artwork there or you can also take do strokes of paint there with your children and it's still artwork let me tell you you can do very inexpensive things and make a beautiful artwork for example you can go to your fundi get them make you the four frames that will help you like make a canvas then you just go get a canvas material you pin it tightly like it's not shaky when you do this you pin it tightly then you apply a base coat on it so to add in it then you can do a wall art there let me tell you it will cost you less than a thousand bob it will listen to me it will cost you less than a thousand for a very big art go get your fundi or just go get your bow like two small small bow long ones get them make them make a support piece uh, at the center maybe two make something to hang you can even hang like of course bow you can hang on the on the whatever it's not even an issue to count them do that after you do that but make sure they are straight you don't want an art piece like looks like this no make them straight go get a canvas uh, material and when i mean a canvas material canvas material doesn't stretch so get the one that doesn't stretch then pin it so tightly you can get like the pins in a bookshop pin it so tightly and then get a base coat a base coat is like 250 like just get the cheap cheap things i would say if you're really on a budget you just need a base coat then with that when it's it has hardened up you can draw if you're artistic you can draw something you're not if you're not artistic just get two or three different paints in a bookshop in the paints to our toy just get them paint something you can do a circle another circle with different colors three four circles or you can do brush strokes just try to do something 
do brush through come through cement there through sand make it textured continue do something do something please don't get those efforts just do something it will be beautiful i promise you yes i think i've talked a lot but the other thing you should also do statements like you can incorporate statement with like a statement piece is verses verses are really important like if you have you want a plant and you want a big plant maybe at the corner or something get a big statement um verse one big one and you know by the way those big plants are quite expensive and if you don't want to invest in them or you have you don't want to invest in the artificial ones then get those small go get a small plant that will grow to a big one take care of it nurture it actually you'll be so proud when it's grown it's even taller than you and you're like oh my god i took care of this plant it's like it's not like a small baby do that and it will really elevate your place so get statement deco pieces i'm not even talking about planters alone get statement deco pieces don't go for small things especially where you're putting them is doesn't have a lot of things does it maybe it's vacant get one statement piece and it will really elevate your house thank you so much for watching up to this far i really appreciate if you watched up to this far go on the comment down below and just put a flower emoji i will know that you watched up to this far and i will comment down below thanking you so thank you so much i love you and god loves you more I hope you watch the next video and also Friday I come up with these beautiful videos for you guys to elevate your homes so you can also turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified on Friday the time I upload the next video. Thank you so much. I love you. Bye.